I stand in the authority and I stand with power Ministering. that every Emmanuel cause that is working of against your divine lifting that ministry. cause is broken in the name of Jesus as you are shouting this hallelujah your testimony is delivered as you are shouting this hallelujah your breakthrough is released as you are shouting this hallelujah your testimony manifests by fire can you shout another hallelujah it's a great privilege to see the last Sunday of the month of September and it's also a confidence that we are going to see many many more months of this year I'm trusting the Lord that by the grace of God at the end of the year, all of us will shout it loud, hallelujah. If you know that your enemy is in trouble this month, shout it better, hallelujah. Be glorified. the Lord of Lords. Appreciate him, appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. Appreciate him. He is worthy of our praise. Worthy of our adoration. 
Father, we thank you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we lift you up. No one like you. 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 In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I want you to get ready because the Lord is about to move in his temple now. Reuben was the firstborn of Jacob. But he slept with his father's wife. And his father issued a curse upon him. And said, Reuben, you are my firstborn. You are my might. You are the beginning of my strength. You are the excellence of my dignity. You are the excellence of my power. These are all the quality and your portion from heaven. These are bad rights that you brought from heaven. These are the endowments that you receive from heaven. But because you have gone to sleep with my wife, he said you are unstable as water. And he pronounced a curse upon him. I said, thou shall not exert. And immediately that cause came upon Reuben. Reuben came down from the first ladder. Reuben lost all his portion. And Reuben became empty from that day. And not only Reuben, all the children of Reuben, all the priests that was coming from Reuben lineage, when they get to the top, they will come down. When somebody wants to help them and is about to help them, that person will not help them. Because a curse was issued upon their great-grandfather. And the curse was working upon them. When the children of Reuben reached the top level to do something great for the Lord, they will make mistakes and they will come down. They will do something and they will come down. They couldn't get to the height that they're supposed to get to. The height that was given to all of them from heaven. The height that the Lord has given to their portion, to their family from heaven. The height that their father got easily from heaven. A curse brought him down from the highest ladder to the bottom of the ladder. And since that time, he was trying to climb the ladder. He couldn't climb. When he climbed to a level, he would go down. All the children that were born from Reuben, when they climbed to the level, they would go down until a man came. The man was called Moses. Moses looked at the knowledge of all the people of uh, the family of Reuben. And he found out that those who are evil pastors among them, they went down. They entered into error and they went down. Then Moses declared with authority, Moses stood in authority of God's power and declared in Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 6 and he said the curse upon the life of Reuben be broken now and he broke the curse and he reversed the curse and from that time the family of Reuben began to move up and they never gone down again I stand in the authority and I stand with power that every cause that is working against your divine lifting, that cause is broken in the name of Jesus. A man came with a special portion from heaven. A man was excellency of dignity. A man was excellency of power. A man was anointed, was blessed by God with double birthright. 
a man was supposed to be at the top without any stress when they are compiling names of people his name supposed to be there when they are doing it for people his name supposed to be there when they are a person in contract his name supposed to be there but because of what he has done he came down from that level and not only him his children came down from that level and not only the children the great children came down from that level and nobody could reach that level until a man of God came until a prophet came and spoke the work of authority and spoke the word of power that from today the family of Reuben you have stayed low at the territory and he cancelled the course and he commanded them now to begin to move to the level they're supposed to be and right from that time in the Bible right from Deuteronomy chapter 33 the family of Reuben came back to the level I stand in authority and with the anointing of the prophet and I decree upon you now every cause that has brought you down shall be broken in the name of Jesus I am in the office of a prophet this morning and I speak with authority and with the oil that was put upon my head by Dr. D.K. Olukaya, the general overseer of this ministry, anointed me as a prophet. I agree with authority that today every cause that has limited you is broken in the name of Jesus. Every cause of struggling and struggling and struggling without result, I command the cause be broken in the name of Jesus. A man issued a cause upon the life of Reuben, and another man came and he reversed the cause. The father of Reuben issued a curse upon Reuben and a prophet came and countered the curse and the curse of the father become useless. I don't want to know who has cursed you, whether it's your father or it's your mother or it's your senior brother or it's your uncle. But I come in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I come with the prophetic anointing. I come with the grace of God upon this commission. I come with the grace of God upon our father in the Lord, Dr. D.K. Lukoyan. And I command that every cause of struggling without making it, every cause of laboring without making it, let the cause be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the cause be broken in the name of Jesus. If your amen can be stronger than your friend, if Reuben did not say amen, Reuben would have remained on the low level. Reuben believed or he thought that something cannot change again. Do you know that those who work in the prophetic and those who work in the office of a prophet, they have the authority to declare a cause to be reversed. I stand upon you, up, upon this altar, and I decree and I speak with the anointing of the prophet and in the office of a prophet that every cause of you will not see help us. Let the cause be broken in the name of Jesus. If your amen can be better than your friend, every cause of you will not see help pass in life. Let the cause be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the cause be broken in the name of Jesus. And every cause of going back to square one, every cause of going back to square one, every cause of going back to square one, we don't want you in their lives again. We don't want your oppression again. I speak as a prophet of God. Let the cause that is bringing you back to square one be broken in the name of Jesus. I say be broken in the name of Jesus. You have stayed on one spot for a long time. You have stayed on one spot for a long time because a curse was placed upon you. And that curse has been working upon you. Or because a curse was placed upon your father. And that curse has been working upon your lineage. Or because a curse was placed upon your grandfather. And that curse has been affecting you. Or because a curse was placed upon your community. And that curse was affecting you. I come right now with the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And I command every curse that have stagnated you. If your amen can go in sevenfold. 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 Let the curse be broken in the name of Jesus. Every 
course of what belongs to you shall always be given to another. Every course of your portion being given to another, that course is about to be reversed. Listen, that course is about to be reversed. Every course of your portion given to another person, that course is about to be reversed. Every course of your portion given to another person, that course is about to be reversed. I want you to cooperate with me by shouting seven women. Immediately I decree. I decree right now with the anointing of the Holy Ghost and with the oil of God upon my head. The cause that is making you to lose your portion. Be broken in the name of Jesus. 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 There is somebody that is hearing me now. Some people gather against you in your place of work and they are planning to demote you. It was not these people. It was a cause that was working upon your grandfather. That I stand now and I command because you are in this service today. All those that gather to demote you, they shall scatter by fire. I say they shall scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. And every cause of people shall be rewarding you evil for good. Uh -uh. You wonder sometimes that I don't do bad for people. I even send their children to school. But they are turning it against me. It's a cause. Nobody will turn good bad. But when there is a cause upon your family, even when you are putting millions and invested in it, they return you back. They can even gather to pull you down because there is a cause. Every cause of returning good things you have done with evil. If your amen can be strong, this money, this money, I command the cause to be broken upon your life. In the name of Jesus. 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 Every cause of you will not stay long in that office. Magadabada. Every cause that was pronounced by your predecessors, those who were there before you, they say the person that is coming will not be celebrated. They say the person that is coming will not stay long because they were disgraced out of the office. And before they left the office, they say anybody coming here will be disgraced. Because they did not do anything when they were there. They say anybody coming after them will not do anything. There is a prophet in the house that is about to cancel the cause. Moses came and Moses canceled the cause upon the head of Reuben. And family of Reuben came up. Only one day a cause was pronounced on Reuben and Reuben went down. Another day a cause was pronounced upon Reuben and the family of Reuben went up. One day a cause was pronounced upon you and your family and something has been working in a negative way. This another day, the 29th day. Is it 29? Is it 29? This another day, the 29th day of September 2024. A cause is about to be removed. The cause of you will not get what belongs to you. I command the cause be removed in the name of Jesus. Let the cause be removed in the name of Jesus. Now listen very well. The application of a cause and the manifestation of a cause and the realization of a cause is being done by words. A pronouncement by somebody who has a, a spiritual authority. Because of the authority, when the cause is pronounced, it sticks to that life. And when that fellow begins to move in that problem, if he does not see any other person who has a spiritual authority, he will remain there. His children also will be suffering. Everybody in the family will be suffering. 
until a man who has a spiritual authority could come and also reverse the cause. A cause was placed upon your family, and that cause has been looking for somebody who has a spiritual authority to reverse the cause. I am in the office of a prophet, and I decree into your life every cause that has limited your family. If your amen can be very loud and it can go in sevenfold, every cause that has limited your family be broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every cause of you will not enjoy your children. Every cause of your children will not enjoy you. I command the cause to lose its power. Lose your power. Lose your power. Lose your power. In the name of Jesus. Your husband can walk. He's not a lazy man. But because he tried to go out the first day, second day, third day, he couldn't see anybody. He tried to do contract. Contract was not coming. He tried to say, I am an estate agent. Nobody was coming. He tried to say whether he can also do some other work. Nobody was coming. And he decided to just sit down. I said, how long will I do this one with my age? And there's a cause that has been working against him. But you didn't know there was a cause. And your husband did not know there was a cause. But I speak now that every cause that limits your husband, every cause that limits your wife, let the cause be broken in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I don't want you to miss today is the last day of the month of September. Every cause of you will not enjoy your old age. I command the cause be broken. I say be broken. In the name of Jesus. By the grace of God upon this commission. And by the anointing of God upon our father and the Lord Dr. D.K. Olukoyan. Every cause of you will be making money and you will not be able to make account of the money. Every cause of you will be laboring to make money and they will be scattering the money in your hand. Let the cause be broken in the name of Jesus. Every cause of money will be running away from you. Let the cause be broken in the name of Jesus. And every cause that is inviting sickness and disease into your family. Every cause that is making your family line to suffer the same disease, to suffer the same sickness. If your amen can be stronger, let the cause be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the cause be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the cause be broken in the name of Jesus. And listen to me. Any cause that was pronounced before you came to that office, that you will be disgraced that out of that office. The man who left the place said, when you are coming, you will be disgraced. I stand to reverse it. Listen, you will never be disgraced. You will be celebrated. Every cause he has pronounced over that office, hear the word of the Lord, be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken in the name of Jesus. I will shout a decree now. And I will say, Holy Ghost. And you will say, destroy them. Hmm? Do what? Destroy them. All the agents of witchcraft that have sworn that they will never rest until they waste your family. All the agents of witchcraft that have sworn that they will never rest until you begin to beg people for money. Or the agent of darkness that have sworn 
The Bible says more than 40 people gathered together with oath and they said they will not eat, they will not drink until they have killed Paul. And all those who have sworn whether they are human beings or they are not human beings, I don't want to know at this level. All the powers and the human beings that have sworn that they will never rest until they see that you are begging for bread. Until they see that you go down. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! What I say, you say, I want you to flow with me in the realm of the spirit. Something is happening now. Just say, destroy them, and it shall be so. All those that gather together against you with your photograph in the coven of witchcraft, and they are shouting incantation, they are shouting incantation, they are pressing you every night. They don't want you to have rest. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Those who said, we will not release your portion. That no matter what you do, whether you fast, you pray, that your portion shall never be released to you. Holy Ghost! I'm not hearing your voice at all. Holy Ghost! If I were you, I would shout, Holy Ghost! The power behind your problem now. The power that is sponsoring that problem you are facing. Holy Ghost! Hey, hey, hey. Holy Ghost! Jesus. Holy Ghost! Something is about to happen now. There's a document that is about to be released into the hand of one brother now. And that document will remove your poverty forever. Get ready, get ready. When I shout, Holy Ghost, say fire, destroy them. Any power that vowed that this document shall not be given to you. Holy Ghost! Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Look at it, look at it. Holy Ghost! Thank you, Father. Shadabara bara bara bara. Negele boro bosongo le bara barus. Ibara bara gala bara bara bara. Power that has entered into blood covenant. Any power that has entered into blood covenant. That you will never rise up in life. Holy Ghost! Jesus. Holy Ghost! Jesus, Jesus. Holy Ghost! This is serious here. Yeah. I want you to shout this prayer very, very loud. I see a group of terrible personality and they were saying we want to revenge they said what i want you to shout with power please are you ready i want you to shout with anger say every witchcraft revenge against my family can you shout it louder if i were you i would shout it louder In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and command it to expire. Are you serious? What a super. Yes. Open your mouth if I were you. Don't lose it. Every wish can revenge against my family against my destiny against my ministry i command the event to die in the name of jesus my 
Open your mouth and pray that prayer louder. In Jesus' name, they die. A sevenfold amen. Father, we thank you for the first section. We appreciate you for making it possible for us to be here. Thank you because we did not lose from this blessing. Thank you because the enemy did not succeed in shooting us. Accept our thanks and praise it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Look at your friend and say, my portion is released. Can you say it to about three friends? Say it again. Uh -huh. My portion is released, and so shall it be in Jesus' name. I'm rounding up the topic we started last week: power to recover your portion. Power to recover your portion. Power to do what? To recover your portion. From the prayer section we have done, you have seen that. Even when the portion of a man has been stolen or has been hijacked or buried, it can be recovered. I mean, the portion can be what? Can be recovered. Your portion is your birthright. Your portion is your destiny. Your portion is your virtue. Your portion is your star. Your portion is your glory. Your portion is your marriage. Your portion is your finances and your prosperity. Your portion is your inheritance. Your portion is your joy. Your portion is your peace. Your portion is the organs of your body. Your portion is your womb as a woman. Your portion is your head. Your portion is your vision. Your portion is the houses you must have. Your portion is your cars that God has ordained for you. Your portion is your talent. It must not be wasted. Your portion is your inner treasure. Your portion is that contract that must be given to you, a sign from heaven that must be delivered into your hand. These are your portion. This portion, as I have mentioned them, they are also spiritual entities. They can be summoned. They can be called out. They can be diverted from the owner. Look at where we were praying here. A portion of somebody was prepared. And a document was prepared to be released unto him. And some powers gathered together to revenge. That is it. The man or the woman may not know that in the realm of the spirit there are some gathering forces who want to divert this portion. It will be laboring. It will be running up and down. But in the realm of the spirit some people want to revenge. To scatter the portion. But thank God, because there is no weapon that is formed against you that shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against you shall be what? Shall be condemned. And that assignment was condemned. A portion belongs to someone is something that God has ordained. From heaven that is going to be his portion. From heaven that is going to be what will make him to enjoy right this planet earth. But if this portion has been summoned out, or has been destroyed, or has been buried, or has been stolen, to recover the portion in the realm of the spirit is by force. Is by what? Is by force. Esau sold this portion because of porridge. Esau did not know that what he's selling can fetch him a warehouse of porridge or a canteen full of porridge. And because of just a meal, he sold this portion. And that day when he was selling his portion, he didn't know that bad right, talent, gift, virtues, stars, glories, destinies, potential, their spiritual entity. He didn't understand. All what he believed is that Sebi is bad right. Oh, just give me, take the bad right, Jerry, and give me uh, porridge. And uh, he did that just physically. But in the realm of the spirit, the bad right was taken away because the bad right can move out. Was taken away from him in a change of porridge. I don't know what they have used to exchange your bad right. But I stand there and I command you receive it back in the name of Jesus. How can a man said he's looking for power? And because he's looking for power and fame, all the five daughters that he has, he, he submitted all of them. He said, please don't destroy them, but make sure that all of them never give back. He has submitted the womb of all of them. 
and he has exchanged it for fame, exchanged it for something he needs or he needed. Let me tell you, whatever they have used to exchange your portion, if your amen can be strong under the anointing that is working here right now, I command you to receive your portion back. In the name of Jesus. Uh, Esau lost his portion. And years and years after, Esau did not know that a spiritual transaction had been done. Esau hurt and was okay. Esau took Coca-Cola and was settled. But in the realm of the spirit, Esau became empty. Say after me, say Esau became empty. Are you, are you getting me now? Just one discussion, a discussion that I give you this, I give you this. You are saying a discussion, but it's not, it's more than discussion. Sir, as you are seated there, there are spirit beings from the Lord that are here. As you are coming in, there are angels at the gate that are here. You don't just come to the auditorium and begin to say something that is negative because it can be what you will carry. And that is why when we are speaking, we speak with audacity and with strength. And as we are saying it, everyone is putting a stamp on it. I am telling you now, as you are listening to me, receive your portion back. That amen is too cold. Receive your portion back. Esau did not know that something had happened until many years later. <laughs> when the father was about to bless him. Now look, look at it very well. Are you here? Go out and fetch me venison because you are hunter. Hmm? Are you here with me? Go out and fetch me. I need, let's say for instance, I need a ram, I need a goat. Go to the farm. Go to the forest. And this all went. Because that was the time that the blessing that will consolidate the manifestation of the birthright was to be given. But don't forget that that day that Esau, sorry, that day that Jacob, was it Jacob or Isaac? That day that Isaac wanted to pronounce that blessing, that day has been uttered many years ago. Did you hear me? That assignment has been what? Uttered many years ago. And nothing can be done until it is reversed. But because they believe that I just say something, I just say this one. That is why I tell many people, when you are in the position of a leader, don't just speak anything anyhow. Because whatever you say can be established. It can be legislated in the realm of the spirit. You don't just speak anything. You speak right thing and speak thing that is very okay. Because there are forces also that move around. And now, go to the farm. Go to the forest and bring me venison. And it was that time that the wife was there. He had it and called Jacob. I said, Jacob, quickly go and do like this and see your father. Jacob said, no, 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 no. But he said, no, you have to go and do this one. Uh, Joseph, uh, Jacob said, but my father will cost me. He said, let the cost be upon my word. Upon my word. Ed, now look at it. Jacob came and the father said something. He said, ah, you went very fast. You are back. And Jacob said, yes. Now the father was trying to establish because he, he knows Hmm? The voice of Jacob. Huh? They are his children. He, he had the understanding of who Jacob is and who Esau is. Am I right? Because he's probably not seen now, does not say he cannot know. Do you get me? Now, this is, this is a, a vast. If the light goes down here and there's no light, because I've been passing here all the time, I will know where this vast is. Am I right? Are you with me? I will, I will eat this verse because all the while I've been coming here, if the light goes for one minute now, I will still know where this verse is. So meaning that Isaac can still know who is Jacob and who is who and who is Esau. But in the realm of the spirit, if Isaac can still know it, it will not be known that day. Are you getting me? That is why somebody can know you and when it's about to lift you up, it may not know you. Are you getting me? There are things that are deeper than what you know, sir. Oga. Okay? There are things deeper than this world you are saying. He knows you, but when he's about to help you, he doesn't know you. Because the event you want now has been uttered 20 years before this time. Now, this is Esau, and this is Jacob. Now, listen. 
when Jacob came, he said, you went very fast. He said, yes, fine. He wanted to hear his voice. Then he said, this voice is the voice of who? Jacob. Eh, Jacob, did, hey, hey. Jacob. Jacob cannot speak like Esau. Eh? You can't speak like me, Nabi. If you try, 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 you go fail. Eh? Even if you mimic me to a level, you will digress. Abi? Eh? So, I said, this is, this is Jacob. Inside the art of Isaac, he knew this was Jacob. But the realm of the physical is controlled by the realm of the spiritual, no matter what you do. Intelligence notwithstanding. Understanding notwithstanding. Your level notwithstanding. When it comes to the realm of the physical, something must control it. Whatever is controlling what belongs to you and is taking it to another, let it be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Are you still with me here? Get it right. Get it right. If I can pass this one into you, your spiritual capacity increases, then you can go from this anointing and begin to flow. Now, Isaac said, the voice is the voice of Jacob. Okay, can you come closer to me, please? Can you? Because Isaac knew that this is not his own. Isaac knew that the farm where Esau is going is at Ekeremon. And you can't go to Ekeremon and come back within 10 minutes. It's not possible. Have you gone? There? Can you? It's not possible. But he says he's back. This man has been living in Ekeremoti all his life. Now, this is Yenogua. I say, go to the farm. I know it's going to take you almost two and a half hours. But you are back. Okay. Uh, how managed did you come from? He said, yes, I saw Uber and they flew. Okay. The man said, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Move closer. The man was still trying to get. Now, move closer. Now, number one, you came back fast. Number two, your voice is not the voice. Okay, move closer, move closer. Because I know my firstborn is every man. So when I touch your body, I will know. And when he moved closer, he was touching the body. But the body, the air was not the air of human beings. It was the air of the goat. <laughs> the man, the man will say, he said, this air, this body is like the body of Esau. But the voice is like the voice of uh, Jacob. At that moment, the man supposed to stop. And say, my boy, wait. But he cannot do so because it has been what altered many years to come. Do you wonder why some people who are supposed to have done something will just not do because it has been altered many years or many months? And sometimes you begin to say, why can't they be patient and wait since they know I'm on the road? Say, but I call them I'm on the road. On the road is not what we are talking about. There is something that will not make you on the road to reach where you are going. Understand it? And the man said, this body, hey, it is Esau. But the voice is Jacob. Nevertheless, you have brought my venison. He blessed him. And one thing about blessing is this. It cannot be taken back. It blessed him. That is why when your wife is in pain, if he issue a curse upon you, it will stick. When your wife is in labor and he issue a curse upon the man, it will stick. It will take somebody with eye anointed to remove it. Because it is not ordinary at that moment. Are you getting me? When you deny pregnancy you gave to a woman, and that woman said you are the one and you see you, you also you knew but you deny it when the woman is about to give birth and he is a cause it will stick no matter where you go and time to river seven times carry sacrifice all on your head it will stick nothing will remove it nothing we have to connect you and the woman back the woman has to lay hands upon you to reverse it because that cause was not ordinary cause was a cause in bitterness are you getting it that is why we must be careful many things has affected our lives and that is why you need the prophet to reverse Whatever is upon your head. Upon your head, if there's any cause, I reverse it in the name of Jesus. 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 <laughs> Isaac blessed him. Now listen. This blessing by Isaac. Hmm? 
must be done because the bad right of Esau has been given to who? To this. So, as this man is kneeling down, is leaning down as who? As who? You are not talking. As who? As who? That's all now. Some people that appear before your destiny, they appear like you. And the person say, I thought I have given it to Mr. Fred. Ah! It's not me. I've not come. I was looking for taxi on the road. Any power delaying what belongs to you shall die in the name of Jesus. And that is why, listen very well, that is why somebody like me, I don't get annoyed with people. Because you can't do anything that is not permitted. Are you getting me? I don't get um, not talking. What do they say? It? You, are, you are not talking with somebody. What is, what is English? Eh? Malice. I don't keep malice. Because whatever you do against me must be permitted in the realm of the spirit. And if God permits it, there must be a reason. It's for me to go back to God and say, why? And God said, there's a curse upon your grandfather. When they come to this level, it must not be. Then I reverse it. Or God said, I'm leaving you. Therefore, allow it to be done. I want you to wait patiently for a moment. Because that man that is there will not spend more than two years. And I will replace him. And at that moment, it will be done. Don't you know that if the man that came out from the prison has told Pharaoh that I saw a young man in the prison who can interpret dreams, Pharaoh will not take it for importance. Hey, what are you talking about? Say, because you just came from the prison, one small boy is there. I look at my astrologers. They can interpret what? Dreams. Hey, come out, go. The thing will be useless forever. So because of that, for two years, he did not remember him. He did not remember him was not a problem. It was orchestrated from heaven. Because the day of your remembrance must be the day of your jubilation. The day of your remembrance must be the day of your celebration. If God allow you to stay for two years before your celebration come and you are crying and you are shouting now and you are doing and you go out of church, you don't come to church again, you don't come to service, you don't pay your tithe, you don't pay offering, now you punish yourself. Now you do what? Not be God. God has a reason for everything. If that man said, ah, oh God, when I was in the prison, you know, one young man, I come out. I have astrologers. And truly, those astrologers were called wise men. They have the gift, satanic gift, to interpret what? You know, we have some people now that call themselves prophets. When you come, they start tell you, tell, tell you many, many things. Eh? I see this one. Ask them what is the solution. They don't have it. They are just wasting themselves. Instead of them to come down. I've ministered to about three of them here. I said, you are wasting yourself. Why are you? He said, he has opened a church. I said, for a church, close your church and come down here. And do three months with us and you go back. Why are you wasting yourself? What are you seeing? You are seeing rubbish. What you are seeing has no solution. It's not from God. It may be the idol of your father's house. And that makes you to be on eye. The Bible says, Elamites, the sorcerers, was deceiving everybody. But when a man of God came in, let it go down. Are you hearing? And at this moment now, if man, the butler has just the same thing, it will not work. Meaning that the two years of forgetfulness of butler eh, was organized by who? Are you with me here? When I see people getting annoyed with themselves, I laugh. This one, this one, are small people. Now, small picking, they get annoyed. You know, greet them. You know, greet them. Make you know, greet me, they go. Uh, nothing can be done against you if it's not permitted. Are you getting me? No weapon. No weapon form against you. Sha! Uh uh, oh God. If it prospers, something has happened. I'm about to close. Abby? I should close for now. You say no? Okay, give me 10 minutes more. Now, two years pass. The king had a dream. He's very confident because he has astrologers. Hmm? And the time of celebration of somebody is coming. Huh? He called the astrologers. Which kind of dream? I shall be my people here. They pay them salary. Everybody come. Interpret the dream. Even if they can interpret it at that moment, their brain will be dark. Because somebody is coming. Say, I am coming. 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 Say, somebody is coming. Say, I am coming. Say, somebody is coming. I am coming. When you are coming, everybody must give way. 
if your seat has not been created because you are coming, they will create it. If they don't have office for you because you are coming, they will have office for you by force, by what? By fire. Oh, we have closed the contract for the year, but you are coming. Are they called? <laughs> when I reach there, contract must come. That is the mystery of this thing. Understand it. Oh, the man said, I remember. You know the story now. Don't let me go further. Say, I remember. Hey! I said, bring the man. Because at that level, Pharaoh was ready to listen. The president was ready to listen to you now. Abi? Say, we they put you behind before. They go, no. You are coming. Oh. I shall get there. Say, I shall get there. Say, I shall get there. You know, when, the, when he came, all the astrologers and the man interpreted the dream perfectly. Oh, my God. <laughs> Pharaoh said, Oh, God, you know, they go back prison. Prison is not your place. I am number one. Potiphar is number two. But now, I will be number one. You will be number two. Now listen, it was not in the constitution of the Egyptian before. And the constitution cannot be altered. But when God is about to work, constitution must be altered. Not be my make him. Eh? Now God. Not be my right arm. When you are coming with the glory, they must alter constitution. Pharaoh said, What if I know you have been with me like this? This is our constitution, our culture. But uh, you two look at this man. Your brain reads like him. He said, No, sir. As far as I look at him, your brain leads. He said, No, sir. You know, the man said, You need somebody who has wisdom. The man too, no one go back. Who go, won't go back? <laughs> you did not listen to the testimony of that soldier. You did not listen to it. Uh, who won't go back? When the man came to me and said, they rough you, I said, don't worry, kneel down. There is a oil I'm going to put on your head now and everything will be recovered. There is something that can change you. I command you wherever you are, receive a change in the name of Jesus. Receive a change in the name of Jesus. I would like to stop. But before I stop, just listen. Just listen. Listen, are you here? Isaac blessed Jacob. It does not take, or it did not take, one minute. Hmm? Jacob was still there. Esau came. Answer question number one. Why did Esau delay? It has been done long time. Question number two, why did your father not say, uh, Oga Esau? I know say you be Esau. Wait, wait. Wait. Because he knew the journey from Yenegua to Ekremabi. So wait, 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 are they come? Delaying the man for two and a half hours or three hours or four hours. Abi? Why? It has been settled before. Hmm? He left. And the man came. He said, Oga, daddy, daddy, I have come. I said, hey! Esau, he said, yes, yes, be eat, eat. He said, wait. He said, no, 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 no. Somebody has taken your blessing. You know what he said? He said, Daddy, Shebe, you are the one that gave the blessing. Please give it back. It's not possible. No, 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 no. The realm of the spirit doesn't work that way. <laughs> it cannot be. What he has given to someone cannot be given back except a spiritual transaction takes place. Huh? What he gave to him could not be given to him because, now listen, what he gave to him cannot be literally given to him if not that transaction has what? Taking place. So if we want to reverse it, another transaction must what? Take place. And Baba won't go die. The Bible says, he cried bitterly. And the man looked at him and said, let me bless you. The blessing was very dangerous. He said, you will serve your brother. Kai! Daddy, I say, make you bless me. You see, they put me under. Because there is no other, you cannot repeat the same blessing. 
When the man stood up, Jacob, he stood up with the blessing because the blessing also is a spiritual what? Entity. He said, you will serve your brother. You will be this. But! Say but. Say it again. Genesis 40, 27. Say, but! Listen. He said, when you gain dominion, when you come for deliverance, hmm? that's the meaning now. Hmm? When you come for prophetic service like Super Sunday today, you can still break the yoke of your brother off what? Your neck. But it's going to be by what? By what? By what? Rise up on your feet. Go to be by fighting. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready to fight? After today, I want you to be moving around with your celebration. I want you to be moving around with your testimony. I want you to be moving around with your person. And so shall it be in the name of Jesus. Now confess your sin as you are standing. Tell the Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on me. I'm sorry. Of what I have done. I'm sorry. Just have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy, Lord. Sabara busa dayakada. Leboro sudo ganagada. Have mercy. Have mercy. Aha. Jesus' name we pray. You want to give your life to Jesus because it's another quality for you to receive or recover. You know you are not saved. You have not had a counter with the Lord. Wherever you are, can you raise up your right hand and say, Pastor, please, this is my hand. I'm raising it up unto the Lord. I want to give my life to him. Say after me, say, Father, I confess my sin. Have mercy upon me. Save my soul. Deliver me. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, all these people that have given their life to you, let them encounter you today. And let the yoke of sin be broken in their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Rise up on your feet like a soldier. Now, the father of Esau told him that the recovery is still what? Huh? Still what? Because it's, it's, the thing that happened was spiritually done. He said the recovery is still possible, but it must be by what? By what? By violence, by fighting, by war. That is why we are break today. Break, 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 break. Uh, die, die. If they have not stolen everything, we will not do all this wala. But the recovery must be what? By force. My joy is that we can still recover. Abi? David recover. Abi? Job recover. Abi? Say, Emmanuel shall recover. <laughs> Only one prayer point I want you to pray. And you must lose temper to pray the prayer. Right from the days of John the Baptist, even till now, the kingdom of heaven will never play with anybody. The kingdom of heaven suffer rastic, rast, ra, radically. And the radical man take at it by force. I want you to be radical for one minute. Are you ready now? Your eyes closed. Are you ready? Powers! In charge of my person. These people, you are too. Why they do like this? No, it is not like this. The Bible says, "It's a cry." Don't miss the grace and the anointing right in this service now. Are you ready? It's a simple prayer. Powers in charge of my person. Release it. Down. Eh? That's all. Powers. Can you shout it loud? In charge of my person. I want to hear a command. Release it. Release it. Release it. You will shout, release it three times. Let them hear you if they did for your village. Say, release it. Release it. Release it. Die. 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 Three times. Are you ready? Powers. In charge of my person. Release it! Release it! Release it! Die! In the name of Jesus. Let's see. Say perish! Something must be done here. 
Something must be done. Open your mouth and pray. It is by force. It is by force. Release it. Release it. Release. Da! Yes. Something is happening here. In Jesus' name, they have released them. Recover your portion in the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I appreciate the Lord and give God the glory. <laughs> Your enemy is in trouble. family by liking us on Facebook, following us on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and click the notification bell to be fully abreast of our program programs. Go follow, like, and subscribe now. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here.